Sam Mendes is a British film director, screenwriter and producer. In his years of filmmaking, he has managed to create a few of the most well-known and amazing films in the industry, ranging from arguably the two best James Bond films in his recent cinema, to American Beauty and some incredible war movies, 1917 and Jarhead. So, how has Sam Mendes used common themes to create poetic meaning within his films, Skyfall and 1917? Mendes is known for many traits within his filmmaking career. These traits can directly portray different emotions and themes to the audience and make a scene have a more deeper and poetic meaning to it. From using reflections off of windows and mirrors, dwarfing a character to make them seem more vulnerable in a certain situation, to then using similar composed shots at the beginning and ending of a film to convey a character's sense of accomplishment. Firstly, I'm going to talk about Skyfall, the James Bond film, the third Bond film featuring Daniel Craig. Skyfall could be seen as the most beautifully shot Bond film with some recurring themes from Mendes. The colour palettes used within are aesthetically pleasing with stunning oranges and vibrant blues. Although Mendes tends to keep his colour palettes to bright primary colours, Skyfall stood out with how the colour of the lighting conveyed different moods. One of Mendes' recurring themes within his films is a frame within a frame. This technique can convey a poetic meaning to the scene and can add to the cinematography. For example, in the scene where Bond has just killed a villain, the camera shows the room of the next building and within the shot you can see a frame within another frame of one of the main characters, Severine. The shot shows warm colours of lighting in the room with the woman and cold blue lighting with the rest of the shot including Bond. This shot connotes to the audience the contrast between the two characters and perhaps the warm loving affections that Bond sees within Severine. A look in the opposite direction we have a BAFTA winning masterpiece of a film 1917 which is a peek into what soldiers went through during World War I. Contrasting with Skyfall the colour palettes stay pretty plain however this can represent the deathly atmosphere and horrible conditions that the soldiers went through during that time. Mendes used the same theme of frame within a frame throughout 1917. An example of this is when the two soldiers Blake and William are searching around the barn house. In this shot you can see the frame within the frame and the silhouette of William contrasting the bright outside of the barn. This could represent the emptiness of the barn and the abandonment in which war causes. One thing that stands out in this film is the way it was shot and edited together, as throughout the whole film it was one long take and didn't have any cuts despite the odd dip to black. Mendes stated that this was used as he wanted it to seem that there was a little window into what life was like back then and to merge the audience into this and make them feel part of it. However, I had a different take on that technique used as although Mendes' main objective was to put the audience in the perspective of a soldier, I thought that it made the camera a lot more obvious throughout the film, which is the last thing that you want when making a film as the camera should feel invisible to the audience so they don't actually realise that they're watching a film. The camera technique that Mendes tends to use in his films is a slow camera pushing. This can help engage the audience on a more subconscious level and potentially fixing the audience onto the character's emotional state of mind. For instance, in this scene from Skyfall, N is in the government board of inquiries and is giving her take on the double O program while referring to the main villain in this film. The camera ever so slowly pushes into M's upper body which helps to show the audience her emotions and how serious she is about keeping the country safe of these criminals. This scene also shows some irony as the villain is on his way to kill her that very second as she's referring to him. Another way in which Mendes creates poetic meaning using slow pushings is within this film, 1917. As you can see in this scene, William and some other troops are trying to push the truck out of the mud. On their second attempt, the camera slowly pushes into William's face and it's at this point that you really see the struggle and desperation in his face. The camera pushing in helps the audience close in on this and realise how much of a rush he's actually in. An interesting theme that Mendes often implements in his films is a recurring motif of death near water. Throughout many of Mendes' films, whenever a death scene is going to happen, the characters are normally on or near water in some way or another. A few examples of this happening in 1917 and Skyfall is when one of the main characters in 1917 Blake dies. While Blake is with the German soldier, William runs over to the water spout and as soon as the water starts gushing out, the camera pans to Blake being stabbed to death. Another example of this occurring is in Skyfall when Bond is trying to kill a villain submerged under a frozen lake. Mendes even managed to fit in a death near water themed scene when Bond is sneaking up to kill an assassin, projecting blue toned jellyfish on the skyscraper's glass panels. This motif is ironic in a way, as water is usually linked to life and growth in a positive way. Overall, I believe that Mendes has successfully showed that he can create poetic meaning within Skyfall in 1917, as well as many of his other films. The common themes that he used to do this shows his professionalism in this industry and how great of a director he really is. Shots as simple as scented framing and having similar shots at the beginning and end of films really brings it all together to create these pieces of art. Such as in 1917, the clip on the left is the very first shot and the clip on the right is the ending shot. You can see that they are very similar, near identical. However, the ending shot has slightly more saturation and brightness, possibly conveying the achievement that William is feeling compared to how he was at the start.